a really great chance to see what's unique about everyone's cultures, what your cultures have in common with one another. Um, and remember to, as the presentations are happening, think of questions you want to ask or comments you want to make. Obviously, nice comments. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can get started with Laos. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's Princess okay. Princess of Laos! Thank you so much. Sabay di. Sabay di. So, you can't be honest, I didn't expect I would be the first one. But yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, happy to be the first one. And yeah, so first of all, I will say um, Sabaidi. Sabaidi means hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You can use it every every time you see you meet each other. And uh, Sabaidi means hello. So um, today I'm gonna take you all to Laos. Yeah, I know that some of you might not know where Laos is, or might not you might not really know about Laos. So I think it's good because you will get to know it today for me. Yeah, okay. So for today's presentation, I'll be talking about the geography briefly and the traditional clothes or traditional dance, recommended food and recommended destinations in Laos. So the first one I'll be talking about our geography. Uh, some of you might not know that we're pretty close to each other. Actually, Laos is located in the center of Southeast Asia. We have borders with five countries. As you can see here, we have Cambodia, China, Myanmar, Thailand, and Vietnam next to us. And like, Laos is like, um, most of the country is mountainous and like, and thinking for forest. That's why it turns to be our like, characteristic. Yeah. And like, the Mekong River here, you can see in Thailand, the border of Thailand, we share quite, oh, the Mekong River forms a large part of the uh, western boundary with Thailand. That's why we share some cultures together. We have pretty similar food, pretty similar language. Even when we are talking in, an, in different language, we can still understand each other. If you see me and Thai friends talking in another language that is not English, um, we're not talking in the same language. We're talking in a different language, but we just understand each other. <laughs> and we don't have summer or winter. We just have two seasons, dry season and rainy season. But like the weather could be chill, not really hot and during the dry season, um, starting from November, yeah, November, December. But like usually it's hot in Laos. <laughs> okay, for the next one, Oh, actually, I would say today, the 2nd of December, marks as the 47th birthday of Laos. It's our national day today. So, like, yeah, it's day, so, like, feel free to give me cake or something. Yeah. I'm glad to have it. I'm the representative of Laos anyway, though. Okay. And the next one, I'll be talking about the Lao traditional clothes. Um, Actually, when you are having a vacation in Laos or when you're visiting Laos, you'll be amazed by our sophisticated um, bathing skills. Like it's so easy in each market that you could see um, the the scene, the Lao traditional clothes around, and like you can see like those shops could offer you a wide range of colorful and refined silk where you could buy. We, we have so many different prices starting from the cheapest one. It could be like $10 from to like the expensive one, two thousands of dollars. It could be 2000 or 5000 because it's made from silk. Yeah, so like it depends on the silk that they made. Mm -hmm. And uh, here you will see what I'm wearing now, it's called Sukmai. We don't really have the name for the home, the home traditional clothes. We, we call it Sukmai, but we have the name for the, the, the here, the bottom one, we call it Sin. Sin consists of like three parts, like Hua Sin, Hua Sin is in the waistband, and this is Pun Sin. Pun Sin is the longest part here, and like the last one is the Din Sin here. We have, yeah, the, 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 the bottom one, yes. And like, 
Uh, for women, we call it sin, and like for men, we call it slow. It's a traditional costume for Laotian men, but men don't usually wear this. They will only wear it in the wedding ceremony, something like that. Yeah, but for women, we usually wear this. Like you will see it yesterday, I wear another costume. It's also a costume, but that one is the less formal one that we can wear to work. We can wear that to work, and like most lab people wear sim to work, but these costumes are made for like special ceremonies, like the wedding or like when you go to the party ceremony, the lao tradition events, something like that. And like for salon, I, I don't have it here, but like it's made of cotton, silk, or synthetic fibers such as rayon that men usually wear it. And like when we, Lao women, when we wear sin here um, to the spatial events, we will usually have a scarf here, as you can see. Um, it's usually the same decoration as the deep sea part. We usually wear the same, the same decoration. It's like, it comes in the set. Yeah. And it needs different techniques to wear, which takes hours for the labor to finish this. And for the next one, I'll be talking about the traditional dance. Um, actually, we have a few different types of traditional dance. The first one I will talk about is the Lambong dance. The Lambong dance is very popular in Laos. It means a circle dance. You dance in circle. Mm -hmm. And like it's a group of dancers together. We dance together as a home, which usually um, the partner would be male and female. They dance together. And you know what? Actually, um, this will be... This will be, we will usually have the Lamong dance in special ceremony, like the wedding or like other, other ceremonies, other special ceremonies. And it's, um, it's like, even when you go to those ceremonies and you're the man, you like somebody there, you can ask them, you can go directly and ask the woman if you want to go and, and be the partner for them, be the partner with them for the Lambong dance or not. Uh, if, she, if she goes, then like, she's some kind of like, uh, yeah, you can like, yeah. That's a sign, you know? Yeah. And like, oh? Have people asked you before? Oh. <laughs> a few, yeah. And like for the poster, each of them will post a graceful hand gesture. Actually, we allow people can, Lao people can uh, can do it, but it's just that we are not an expert. Like, yeah, we we, but all of them can do. It. All of us can do it. Like, maybe your hand would be like like this. Yeah, but for an expert, they will be like, ooh, much more. Yeah. But each of them will pose a graceful hand gesture with simple footsteps that goes along well with the Lao music rhythm. Mm -hmm. And but there's also. But there's also a rule that you have to consider. Even if you're a partner dancing in a Lambong dance, you're not allowed to touch your partner while dancing. Yeah, just dance. But you're not allowed to touch each other, okay? And the next one is the uh, Font Wai Pon. Font Wai Pon means like the welcoming dance. This is originated from the royal palace, but now become popular. I don't know what's happening, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it's now become popular for common people. And this usually used to perform in official events, like when you're welcoming some guests, partner guests, something like that. And the next one, I'll be talking about the recommended food. I know that many of you have heard a lot about like the papaya salad, the mahoom things, yeah, but for me, if you go to Laos, I would definitely recommend it, recommend you to try these food, these two food. The first one is Olam. Olam is here, here. Olam is like originated from the north. Yeah, usually in Luang Prabang. Mm -hmm. And like uh, the main ingredients would, I, I don't know how to explain the flavor, but the main ingredients is like the herbs, the Lao herbs. Mm -hmm. I'm not a person who loves herbs. I don't like herbs, but you have to try this. This is super delicious. You really have to try. Mm, yeah. And the next one is not pet. Pet here, pet here is not the, the meaning in English, you know, like the, not, not the dog or the cat. <laughs> yeah, 
it's not pet. Pet, yeah, it's Lao language. It's pet. Pet means duck. Um, yeah, the duck. It's not a dog or a cat. <laughs> it's a duck. Yeah. Lab pet. Um, pet. Usually, actually, we have uh, many different kinds of lab. We have lab pork, lab chicken, and lab pet. Whatever lab duck here, uh, lab means lock in Laos. Usually we will. This is our normal food, and like it is usually included in a special event because um, it is believed that if you eat labs, means you will be good luck. You will have a yeah. You'll be lucky, something like that. And um, usually we we eat this with sticky rice. Sticky rice here. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if you have ever tried sticky rice or not, but yeah. it tastes really good. Oh, like, it good. goes together very well. Do you eat this only in special events or? No, no, we eat it every day. Yes, whatever we want, whenever we want, not every day though. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but this is usually included in a special event. Mm. Yeah. Look, look, it's a uh, Lao and Lao is the same, like L A O and L A O S. L A O is Lao. Us Lao. people, Lao. oh. yeah. Laos is a country. Yeah. And the next one, uh, it's a recommended destinations. If you are a person who loves uh, a slow life, or you want to see how slow life is, you definitely have to try going to Luang Prabang. It is the World Heritage Site, and it is famous for. Uh, tourism around the world, I would say. Mm -hmm. You will see lots of foreigners there. Uh -huh. If you uh, go to Lung Prabang, you will see this, because we are mainly Buddhism, right? So like, um, you will get to see this in the morning. You will see monks walking around, and then you will see people giving arms in the morning, like early morning, like 5, 5.30 or 6. The monks, is, uh, there are more than like 50 monks walking around. So like, you will see that there are photographers and um, foreigners taking photos, many of them taking photos of this. And like, they are, people there are like kind of chill. A lot of people there are kind of chill, they're kind too, yeah. Um, and there are many um, ancient architects, you can see. Yeah, the temple, something like that. And they have uh, quite lots of interesting major places, like waterfalls. Something like that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, Pakse is in the south. Yeah, Pakse is also famous too. Yeah. Actually, we have many um, destinations to recommend you, but like we have limited time. Yeah, so like you can ask me later. Yeah. And the next place would be um, if, this is in Vientiane, in the capital city where I'm in, but it's this is located. Um, a bit far from Vientiane, but like if you guys are going to Vientiane, I would I know that um, you will go to the landmarks like but the monument, the Tan Luang, something like that. But um, I would take you there. But if you ask me to recommend, I would recommend something like even more spatial, like because we are kind of um, we 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 have still have many places um, that based on the nature like we have we have so many natural interesting places to visit so like this these places are located in Vientiane where you can go camping and this is in Mangyang this is very popular for Korean Japanese is a it's another place to chill located um far two hours far from Vientiane mm -hmm. so you can go on a balloon and like wow. having a good time looking at the scene, scene. Yeah. Is it all throughout the year? The balloon? The balloon, yeah. Wow. It's all throughout the year. But it's best if you go like um, in the end of the year, like mm. October, November, December. Yeah. Because the weather is kind of chill. Yeah, a bit cold, but not really cold. Mm. And the last one, things to remember. Things to remember. If you go to Laos, Please never forget to try Lao coffee. Yeah, this is very famous. Lao coffee is very famous. Like we also won um, con continental award at World Coffee Challenge in Spain last year in 2021. And this one is the one that won the award, the Lao Mountain Coffee. But I didn't find it like when I was about to come. So like um, I also put the photo of this one. It's Dao coffee. Dao coffee is also a famous brand in Laos. They have many different kinds of coffee. And uh, 
Yeah, today I have two. Uh, for, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring two. Um, you guys can bring with me um, later. Okay, let's go, let's go. I have Richard Gary and Caroline. I'm not sure how how the test would be. Like, I, I haven't tried all of them too, but like, yeah, I I hope you will like it. Yeah. Is loud coffee better or get coffee better? Oh. Try Viet Vietnam coffee too. Wow. So like, I don't know what how it tastes, but I think it's <laughs> it tastes good. That's Both taste coffee. good, and we also export our coffee to like Thailand and mm. Vietnam as well. So like I think we both countries are good. Yeah. yeah. I study international relations. <laughs> you apply what you learn. Yes. <laughs> this is the time. <laughs> yes, um, that's all about my presentation. Yay! Subscribe ke Bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas dan untuk video rekomendasi bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.